well, if you ever thought that uh, creepypastas based on lost episodes were over, you'd be dead wrong. This one's called The Haunting Crabs. This is my version. This is my version of a Spongebob Squarepants Lost Episode creepypasta. I, I, w I would say it's not as good as Squidward's Suicide, or I wouldn't say it's bad as Suicide Squidward either. If any of you guys out there are listening to this, or expecting why I made this, or if you're even wanting to know the reason behind the messed up part of it all, prepare for disappointment. You know Spongebob Squarepants, right? I mean, every single kid knows the show, whether they like it or not. You know, the cartoon show about a sea sponge and his friends in some kind of adventure or situations? This particular episode I saw when I was 10 years old, four years ago. The episode started off like normal but ends up with questions you'd keep asking people. The episode, I believe, was called A Haunting Crabs. Eh, must have been about a prank Mr. Krabs could have pulled on Spongebob or Squidward or someone else, I thought. But when I watched the episode, I regret ever chuckling so slightly. Did I mention my older sister was supposed to watch over me? Uh, no? Okay, well... Yeah, but she stays up in her room, possibly doing some inappropriate stuff or some when mom asks her to stay here with me. I decided to watch the new episode of Spongebob, and she tells me to get out and watch it. Downstairs. So I rush downstairs and switch on the television. Right there, the new episode was starting. Oh yeah, here we go! I said with excitement on my face. The episode started off like normal, that happy jolly theme song. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I say along with the kids. I can hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Ooh. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbing in yellow and poor, sister. SpongeBob SquarePants. There's not a poor that has something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants. And strap on the deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Gosh, I love how the song gets me up and going. Definitely the last time it ever will. The title card pops up, saying, A Haunting Crabs. Then the bubble splash cutaway thing. The episode starts off with Spongebob doing his usual thing at work, making those world-famous under-the-sea Krabby Patties. As soon as he completes it, he takes it over to the customer and the customer gives him a tip. When he walks back into the kitchen, I can clearly see Squidward wasn't in the boat thing he usually was in to take orders. Maybe they just forgot to add him? I thought to myself. Then Spongebob says in his head, Darn! I wish Squidward was here, but he did call in sick, so... A loud scream from Mr. Krabs interrupted Spongebob's thought. The scream was so loud it sounded like it came from inside my own house, and not from the TV, with Spongebob shoving his force into the door to fly open in the shot, then followed by a loud scream from Spongebob. Mr. Krabs was lying on the ground at the side of his desk, as if he fell out of his chair on his side. Flowing out of his mouth was some of his saliva, and... I thought I saw a little bit of his tongue sticking out. The bubble splash thing came up again. The thing was that I swore I saw a little bit of red splotches, like blood, along with the demon red-like color in the background. The next scene took place at the hospital, with Spongebob and the doctor by Mr. Krabs' hospital bed. Spongebob asked the doctor, Doc, is Mr. Krabs going to be alright? The doctor responded with, Well, yes, he should, but... But... but what? Spongebob asked with a nervous tone. He's had a very severe heart attack. Honestly, i never seen someone like him this bad with a heart attack this bad. So what could we do? Nothing, 
I'm sorry, son, but only time will tell. Just go home and let him get some rest. The doc seems to be stressed or confused at this point. Okay, Spongebob says. Spongebob then bursts straight out of the doors with his hands in the air, screaming so loud that he was about to burst again. I couldn't understand why my sister didn't come down the stairs or yell at me to turn the volume down. Maybe I was the only one to hear it? But it doesn't make sense. Spongebob went to Squidward's house for some reason and began banging on the door. Squidward! Squidward! Squidward, open up! He shouted and commanded for five minutes. Then finally, what seemed like forever, Squidward answered the door. What do you want? shouted Squidward. One thing that was clear about Squidward was that he didn't look sick at all. I kept thinking, why would Squidward skip work? Even though he hates Spongebob, but why would he ignore him in annoyance? Squidward, Mr. Krabs is in the hospital! Why should I care? Squidward asked. Please, Squidward, you have to see him! I could see Spongebob's eyes waterfalling with tears. Get away from me, you idiot! Squidward was pissed at this point. I mean, pissed because... Well... Here. Squidward, please! Get the fuck out of my yard! And slammed the door on Spongebob, causing his nose to snap in half like a toothpick. Blood began oozing and spurting all over the screen. Realistic looking blood. Spongebob began screaming again with a loud ringing that later met my ears. Running into his house, he sprints past Gary. As he meows, Spongebob yells, SHUT UP! to Gary, which causes him to scarily slither up in his shell. Spongebob finds the first aid kit and a straight object and wraps up his nose with the object underneath the wrap. Rushes straight to the hospital with the bubble splash cutaway sequence in between. Something was off about it again. In fact, everything about the episode was off. Every single bubble was devilishly red, with a pair of scissors gliding across the screen. What? I thought. Why would anyone release something like this to a children's show? I couldn't tell what I was watching anymore. At the hospital, Spongebob lays in a hospital bed next to, you guessed it, Mr. Krabs. The doctor walks in. I've got some good news and some bad news, son, he says to Spongebob. What is it? Spongebob asks. The good news is your nose will recover in about two weeks from the operation. You'll be able to smell again, too. Stronger than before. What's the bad news? The heart monitor from Mr. Krabs' hospital bed flatlined. That, the doctor says while pointing and walking over to Mr. Krabs. Spongebob slowly releases tears and quietly cries, turning away from Mr. Krabs' now lifeless body. The bubble splash sequence once again pops up. This time, it looked normal. Nothing popped up or no red bubbles. The next scene took place at Squidward's house. Fucking Mr. Krabs! Not paying me! Giving me bullshit! Spongebob annoying the fuck out of me! Hiring Spongebob? <laughs> Mr. Krabs, you should be ashamed! Squidward says with a really pissed off tone in his voice. Climbing his way into his bed, he turned off the light and closed his eyes. Then a flash of lightning wakes him up. In the corner of his room with each flash of lightning, a tall, chunky, dark silhouette can be seen. With each flash of lightning, it moved closer and closer. Until it finally reached his bed. It was Mr. Krabs. But everything about him was completely wrong. His mouth was open and hollow. The pupils of his eyes, blood red. And the rest of his eyes itself was bloodshot. He was completely naked. Tiny cracks, wrinkles, and bumps covered his outer shell. The color of his usual bright red shell was darker and more pale. His nose was split in half. His claws looked as sharp as a razor would be. Squidward began to slowly crawl away from what I assumed would be Mr. Krabs, with a wrong look to him. 
Another flash of lightning flashed brightly and Mr. Krabs was gone. Or at least, from that side, as Squidward turned around. Mr. Krabs was there. He let out a scream that didn't match his original cartoony one that he usually does. More realistic, as if the voice actor who played him really saw something that's terrifying. As he screamed, Mr. Krabs' eyes began to bleed with realistic looking blood and held up a pair of scissors, opening and closing the scissors about five times before once again disappearing. Squidward looks all around him, and Mr. Krabs is nowhere to be seen. Uh, Mr. Krabs! I... I... I'm sorry! Was that really you? P please Don't hurt me! Please! Squidward said while starting to sob. I was just as scared as he was at this point. Squidward runs out of his room, down the stairs, and into the kitchen. He grabs the phone and begins to dial 911. Yes, hello? This is Squidward Tentacles. Somebody has broken into my house. E Eugene Krabs. What? Dead? No. He, he was just here. The phone went dead. He turns around to see Mr. Krabs facing him. Squidward falls to the floor and screams his lungs out at this point. Mr. Krabs brings up the pair of scissors again, opening and closing it once more. With a slightly deep and dark tone, he said something that made every single hair on my body stand up. And an extremely cold chill that ran down my spine. You're fired. Mr. Krabs took the scissors and started stabbing at Squidward. He started with his eyes, stabbing then opening his eyes and cut Squidward's eyelids off. He grabs Squidward's arm and breaks it. Squidward screams again. Mr. Krabs starts hacking away at Squidward's broken arm. He started from the elbow section and moved up to the shoulder area. He did this to all of Squidward's limbs for a good 10 minutes. The last thing I've ever seen out of Squidward was his face silently sobbing and taking one last sniffle. The camera slowly zoomed in on his face for about 20 seconds before Mr. Krabs stopped on his face. Realistic brains and blood spurt out of his head. The TV then turned to static. What the hell are you watching? I jumped and turned around. It was my sister. I got up and ran to her and hugged her tight. She demanded I'd tell her or she'd tell mom. I told mom regardless when she got home. This was four years ago. And now I think the time to tell you guys has come. If anyone has seen this exact incident, please spread the word. If you haven't seen it or think I'm crazy, look at the few sketches I drew. If that's not enough, look at the screenshot the creators of this site keep taking off. For what reason, an episode like that aired on TV for the whole world to see? I don't know. But I do know that my time with SpongeBob SquarePants is done. My likeness for SpongeBob died with its innocence. <laughs>